Hi everyone, Dave out in Western Pennsylvania. I'm a chem professor with a university in Western PA, USA. Okay, you're looking at a small white LED taken from uh, a solar garden cell, a photovoltaic, and uh, I simply uh, removed the nickel cad battery and I hooked that up to any type of battery I'm developing. I have some uploaded videos on this. It's convenient. I can go down to, oh, at least 0 0.8 volts before the light goes out. It's a small LED and has a resistor built in, too. Now, what you're looking at here is a wet cell. This is an organic battery. And what I have is a rectangular sheet of uh, graphite and that's my anode and that has a polyaniline film on it, an organic conducting polymer this is an organic battery and then uh, the other electrode is simply a stainless steel screw this is the typical solution and that would be uh, to make the conducting polymer, I have a piece of plastic in there um, that is for 200 milliliters of distilled water, I put in 5 grams of aniline. Aniline is amino benzene and 5 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. You add it cautiously and you make the anilinium hydrochloride, uh, hydro, the sulfate, hydrosulfate. Then you apply and I use a couple of one and a half volts so I'm using a three volt energy source and you immerse your electrodes in that bath and in about five minutes time you will deposit the conducting film on the electrode. Now depending on whether it's doping or undoping to make a long story short it'll change color and you'll see it either as a real dark blue violet or a more of a greenish color. I'll have another video where I'll show you how it's prepared. And what we're seeing is the uh, charging up. I charge it for about 10 minutes, recharge, and uh, I can run this thing for maybe 45 minutes, this LED then I simply uh, disconnect, recharge, and I've been able to go through about five cycles so far. This is my first attempt at this organic battery and uh, eventually I want to replace that stainless steel electrode in there with another sheet of a uh, small sheet of rectangular graphite. You can get them on eBay. You can use graphite rods too but I like the increased surface area. I don't add any additional electrolyte and uh, of course some of the uh, polyaniline, the conducting polymer is in that solution giving it color so I don't go adding sodium chloride or Epsom salt that's it I run it as is and uh, you get about 25 milliamps and uh, self-discharge I have to examine and uh, what I will do is charge this up and uh, wait a couple of hours and just see what the voltage looks like but a short circuit will give you about 25 milliamps. So you can see that uh, I have this small load on there, the LED. So I'll have another video where I'll show you how to prepare uh, the uh, organic battery. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.